Valma bound. We find Sandor alone in the cave with the body of Valma. Examining the area, he discovers really old scroll fragments. Written on the scrolls are three demonic names. Too tired to travel, Sandor decides to stay the night and leaves early the next morning taking Velma's body to Onskar. He makes it there safely and meets up with Hamara and together they head for the inn. After securing a room, they notice an awkward and out of place looking fellow. <clears throat> Wearing six pounds of fine clothing and a ring on his right hand with a, a meager backpack draping off the chair behind him, a long sword awkwardly leaning against the table, uh, a shield awkwardly leaning against the table on the other side of his chair, and some chain mail, some heavy chain mail jingling on him as he kind of awkwardly shifts around, sits a... I'm actually going to change his age here, Chucky. I'm changing no it very problem. dramatically. Um, a a young man, maybe an old boy. I don't know. He's young. He's uh, he's 16 years old, Chucky. He's he's very young, and he looks unaccustomed okay. to this sort of situation. Although his clothes are, are very fine, he's kind of looking, leaning over on one arm, drinking and like spilling some down his shirt. <coughs> <coughs> As the inn is rather crowded, Sandor and Hamara have no choice but to sit next to the lad. All right. I will probably squeeze in the table next to him as I eat and sort of grunt and sort of shove him over on the bench and pop myself down. Uh, hi me. there! Me. Uh, wow, you look like a, a real seasoned warrior. Uh. My, my name is Desmond. How are you? How am I, or who am I? Well, well, how are you, but also who are you? You may call me Sandor. I am shitty. A shitty Sandor? <laughs> <laughs> After brief introductions, Desmond reveals the reason he has come to the inn. It's uh, quite a natural segue. I'm actually here in this seedy tavern he says looking around as if it's the first time he's ever been you know outside of a palace uh looking to hire me some rough and tumble like folk i look you up and down my no. blades are for hire i mean i i can certainly take care of myself but we're gonna go a pretty far distance and i could really use some help after some negotiations the party agreed to escort Desmond to Crown Springs in exchange for a fee and a share in any possible loot from an ancient tomb. The next morning, the party is ready to depart at dawn, but find no sign of Desmond, so go to rouse him. What? Huh? <laughs> uh, stumbling over to the door uh, in, like, fa fancy silk pajamas, what? What's going on? Oh, hey, you're... Yes! I, hold on, give me... I'll be... I'll, hold on. And I just quickly shut the door, and there's a jingle, 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 clank, clank, zip, ow! On zip, zip, clank, clank, jingle, and then the door opens again. As the party travels, Desmond tries to get to know his companions better. Uh, where, where are you from? Tell me about your family. I'd love to know all about them. Uh, oh uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I'd like to know all about them too, but I don't know any <laughs> I, I had a call, but then the man who knew about it died. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Yes, it is. It's Did you meet talk. Sandor at the orphanage? <laughs> no, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. How do you know Des or Sandor then? He helped me rescue a little girl. 
Oh, what a softy. I always thought, uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say always. I, I thought there was going to be a soft interior outside of that prickly, hard, no-nonsense sort of shell. Everyone has a soft interior once you stab them. Yeah. That's what I was talking <laughs> about, too. Maybe, maybe we should just walk in silence and listen to the wind. <laughs> it's better, right? Yeah. They stop for the night in a small village where a local offers them a room. The farmer introduces them to his family, including his daughter, for whom Desmond has some less than honorable intentions. He takes her for a walk and tries to impress her with his adventuring skills. Didn't you hear the last like 30 minutes of us walking where I was telling you that we're gonna go to this cave and loot it for all the treasure and stuff in there? Yeah, but that's what a lot of young ones say. No, no, like, we actually are. Do you see the sword and the shield and the chainmail? We're real adventurers. I mean, I, yeah, I have a point. You seem like a real adventurer. Yeah. Well, where do you think I, I acquired all of this loot? As, as that's, the, that's the lingo amongst us adventurers Ooh. for it. We call it loot. Ooh. What condition are your, is your equipment in, Neil? Perfect. Brand fucking new. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, if you can lose your bodyguard, I, I, I feel like there's one place I want to show you. She kind of does this. It's getting mildly uncomfortable. You're not Ryan. I can't do this with anyone but Ryan. <laughs> um, Desmond succeeds. And she leads him to a small hut for some privacy. Unfortunately, his fellow adventurers are inappropriately curious. I, but he probably is like peeking in the window or pervert, know, guarding, listening at the door. Being a bodyguard, right? He's, he's he was hired hired for protection. Yeah. Okay. So Amara, uh, Amara will actually transform into a weasel and sneak in. Oh my god. <laughs> you want to transform into, into creatures at will? So you want to know what his favorite position is or what? No, I'm just... Just watching. Serious. You just walk in on a cowgirl and a... Um, it's, it's, it's education. Adventurer. <laughs> the next morning they depart, despite an invitation to stay for a few more days. They do not travel for long before Desmond discovers two bodies and is promptly attacked by a couple of humanoid jackal-like creatures. Fortunately, the battle concludes without any serious injuries, except for the one to Desmond's pride, after he was put in a sorcerer's sleep at the start oh, of the battle. What, what back happened? Got stared at real hard and fell asleep. <laughs> I, I didn't fall asleep. Oh, you, got, you, you fell asleep, it was pretty cute. What? Your no, big... I, I got magicked. Your first big fight, you got all tuckered up. What do you mean my first big fight? I've been in lots of fights before. Yeah, with all that new gear. The party has a disagreement about what to do next, but finally decide to continue their journey. It's past sundown when they reach Carwick, where they pick up both a reward from the innkeeper and a new job. Judge for her. This is uh, Lady Sarnath. I stand and bow. My manners are all of a sudden on when it's when it's business. She's um she's in town looking for some bodyguards to go to Varka and my lady, there are no better bodyguards than these she kind of like looks at you um and says and does like two, three like doesn't know where to say two or three. Okay. Uh, and this three people. Is, as fate would have it, we are also traveling to Valar and south. We would be happy to share the road with you. It is a long stretch and it is best <laughs> traveled with, or best shared with companions. As they journey the following day, Desmond questions the lady and is disturbed by what he learns and shares his opinion with the party. No, I do, I do not smell any sorcery on, on, our, on this woman. 
I think your, uh, your suspicions are unfounded. Magic or not, she has something in her possession that would make her a, a target. Uh, and come the ambush that may, we should... We, as long as we don't sleep through it, we should be fine. Yes, I mean we are we are expecting trouble. I expect that she is carrying well. This is why we are paid. Hmm. I think you are being paranoid, Desmond. Perhaps. On the second day, they run into bandits who demand a toll, and Sandor tries to resolve the conflict with his silver tongue and gilded words. So I, I will say again, call off your dogs, or I will have to butcher them, starting with <laughs> that one. And I point and look straight into his eyes. And so, with our heroes on the precipice of battle, we must take our leave. Will they survive? What lies waiting for them in the ancient tomb? Will Desmond live down sleeping through his first battle? Find out next time on Honor Bound. Hey everybody, and welcome to Age of Strife, where the players are not Bounce. muted. Honor, honor bound. Age, Damn it! Age no honor strife. bound. Holy shit! Did I say Age of Strife? <laughs> oh yes. fuck! Welcome to Honor Bound: Redemption of the New Guard, where our players are not muted and where our intros are long. By the way, we should thank Layla and her husband Chris and their university friend Michael for doing those. Figured it out, Ryan. And nobody's brother. Nobody's brother. <laughs> <laughs> no brothers involved yeah well how is everybody long time no see i think we missed last week yes we i did. went out of town last yes. week i was in yes, ho chi Minh slash saigon ho chi men ho chi Minh. yeah yeah ho chi ho 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 <laughs> how was the new year festival yeah, uh, it was pretty good. There were some great fireworks that we watched from the top of our hotel, um, and then there were some cool flowers everywhere. And then we were out of town, so we didn't get to see quote, too much. Just, I just want to quote chat on something because I love that. Finally, I was worried you guys actually got production value. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I just love that comment. Nope, we're gonna stay like this forever, guys. This is the production value is fine. Neil just keeps going off script. Yeah, I I really <laughs> need a manager. You know, Do we have a script. I sometimes yeah, it's script. script. You didn't get the script. Uh, no, I guess I'm improvising today. No. Flaming swords for everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh what's up how is it going this is usually neil's neil's ryan oh, i guess well, how are you guys it? all doing this week on honor bound redemption of the new guard not age of stripe or mm-hmm. with death or misclusion. not as good as you am i right <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good week um, i'm excited to get back to work yeah work or work yeah. work Can you say this there's is, a party going work. on at your house yeah, there's a party downstairs right now, but it's we're relatively quiet at this point. Uh, it was noisier earlier. Um, but generally speaking, like getting back from my Tet vacation, I'm excited to get back to rolling into D&D stuff again. It's been a little bit of a break trying to adjust and whatnot. What have you guys been up to, Justin? Anything interesting going on in your life that you should care to share? Uh, I had my three-year anniversary yesterday. Congratulations. Woo! Your three-year wedding anniversary three year no okay been we've been together in a committed sort of way yeah three year uh anniversary it's committed sort of way I, it, it's not appropriate <laughs> you don't need to elaborate if you want to know more you? about his relationship go to his stream can't really guess <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you chucky 616 uh it's been good it's been very good we uh finally hit the 1k milestone in followers and the same week we hit the 1k 100 milestone it was awesome and we tried to do a like a whole week was full with events 
Uh, we tried to do some horror games. We actually finished Outlast. It was Subway Award, the DLC for it. That was the most disturbing game ever. Outlast? Like, Outlast, Whistleblower, the DLC. The most disturbing scenes I've ever seen. Like, I won't talk about them because I think it's not appropriate to talk on, on around. But there are some, like, images in the game that you can see around that are... Ooh. It's going to be highlighted, but it's it's really, really 18 plus. It's like... Cool. Oh. Well, everything. oh, you mean, like, gratuitous sex all over the place? Yes. And how Not long were you playing this game on stream for? References. I, so I streamed that. It took only me two hours to finish it, like a DLC for it. Oh, that's a pretty but long it time. Wasn't a, yeah, it was very awesome. And uh, yesterday, we tried to do our 24-hour stream for the 1K uh, followers, but unfortunately, our internet lines were cut. Was it Sharks? It was the Sharks. sharks it was the Land yeah. Sharks. The, the Boulets came and ate his internet the lines. The Boulets came in through the ground, took the first modem out. I actually took my, like, in five minutes, I ran down, took my internet cable, connected it to the other modem, up, like, up on the second level, and then that got shut off by the company for some reason. Throttled. Then you, have, you have two, throttled. You have two yeah. modems to protect you it's from the Boulet? not mine. It's like somebody else's. I was literally just stealing internet for him. Mm-hmm. Streaming on so, yeah. someone else's internet? Yeah. Okay. That that happened. So, so what were you uh, doing yeah, that got a... both of these internets shut down, Chucky? I don't know. I, I was playing Abe's Odyssey. The new yeah. game. like The new HD remake of Abe's Odyssey. I don't mm -hmm. know what happened. It's probably Abe, just uh... the streaming. Like, That's Ooh. a much less fun answer, Ryan. <laughs> I was, I was, I was going to say that... Uh, Hog in the network Marks, resources. The, the Mogs did it. I was, I was ruining their plans to um, enslave the Mudokans. Mm -hmm. What about you, Ryan? I guess you guys have a game? Do you guys uh, know the game? No. What game? No, seriously? Odd, Oddworld? Yes, we know. Oddworld, yeah. Neil yeah. knows yeah. Oddworld. Yeah, I know Oddworld, yeah, but I don't remember anything about, about it. Oddworld. Yeah, yeah, but I don't remember. I mean, I know... We've never game, got... Neil had it as a kid, and we played it, but we couldn't get past like somewhere pretty early in the game. Yeah, so it got pretty boring pretty quick. Yeah, I I was I was crazy about the game. I finished all of them when they came out. This new one was is awesome. So many like I was jumping on stream like this is from the original game. It's the exact same level. Hmm. I was I was like, very excited about it. Anyway, sorry to hog up so much screen time. Go on. That's fine. I was just about to shrug off updates eh, uh, life's good i'm in seattle we had visiting phd st or potential phd students uh this week so schmoozing with them drinking on the department's dime cool uh, yeah enjoying the sunshine here Ooh, i can't believe you're actually getting like sunshine winter. in the winter it's yeah. how excuse me mr california yeah but you're not in california you're in like rain late in seattle West Coast, Best Coast. West Coast, Best Coast, indeed. Speaking <laughs> of West Coast, we are on the West Coast of the river, even though it looks like we're south. Um, and in the middle of a battle, Chucky, you're going to have to remind us where the hell we are, unless exactly. they cover that in the recap, in which case you need to remind me where the hell we are. <laughs> so uh, you guys um, took the offer of Lady Sarnath and started going down the road, escorting her to Volark. And on the way... Um, just talked and so on. Stuff happened. Uh, nothing too important unless you actually we, have an instance. Go on. Didn't we just have a recap? Yeah, no, I, I just need to know how, where we are in terms of this battle. We and just you, you have started. We're rolling have initiative. Started. Yeah. Yeah, you were rolling initiative. Okay, cool. No yo. punches have been rolled yet. Yeah. These are highwaymen that bugged us. Cool. Um, yeah. I, I snuck in a few actions beforehand. I think I threatened to kill the guy's dogs. And then I yes, marked one of them the and drew a sword. Yeah. I just didn't remember if we had, you know, where, where combat had been going. What, what was the situation? Uh, okay. But we're rolling so, initiative. Uh, yeah, uh, that's, a, that's a bad roll. Clearly, I'm getting warmed up. We're going to have three different initiatives for them. Archers, bandits, and mastiffs. My initiative is not plus 10. My initiative is zero. These are some really well-trained dogs that I was able to get within 10 feet of them without hearing them barking or anything. That's actually not that difficult. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I think like... Hunting dogs. An urban environment. Well, no, I was thinking like walking down the street and you're like, oh crap, there's a dog on the other side of that fence. That no, just, yeah. Like, but these are like... Rawr, trained hunting. Uh, okay, killer, I'm just ending bouncy, bouncy initiative to you guys. I think my, that roll is my initiative. I think that 15 is mine yeah, and you, that 7 is Hannah's. 
Hamaros. You see the initiative thing right yeah. here? You can actually put in your own stuff on your character. Like if you double click there, you can modify your own initiative. Done. So I can modify theirs and you can make yours as well at the same time. I don't have a character. You have a token. There it is. Oh, wait, I can click on my... Click on your name in the, the turn order on the side. Okay, yeah, okay, so there he is. Right on your name on your, your number. Good. Okay, uh, who is this? I completely forgot who this is. That's the bad dude. Uh, uh, yeah, good dude. That's not a bad dude. That's, that's Zar. Sorry, that's Zar. That's Lady Sarnaf's bodyguard. Oh, right, right. Lady Sarnaf. I remember it all now. Cool. Uh, okay, so <laughs> all it took was the name. Yeah. Neil just has like Neil has triggers that like give yeah. Because then I remember the game. lady and I remember who she is and how we got there and then blah blah blah. It, the, there was that one thing and then, like the dominoes fell. Yeah, you know what? Just to make it easier for people watching, I'll enter your names and show the name plates. Well, l let's let's start combat. Yeah, let's start combat. So the initiative order is starting over with. The archers in the trees, uh, they all cock their uh, crossbows and um, load them up, pointing them. Roll them up? I guess you roll certain up people on around there. They don't seem to be doing anything yet. There's no, there hasn't been an actual attack yet. They're still like Sandal is still kind of talking to the captain, and the captain seems like the Sandal seems to be unwilling to uh, bend the knee to put it like that. Yeah. So Desmond, what do you do? So they got the actions. What do you do? Um, my ready to action, I, I would have actually, actually, you can't ready like a turn. I have to ready a specific no, action, no, right? A specific action. Like you can use your movement and everything else. So and there's no like, a I'm going to delay my turn for until this person takes the move. Then I want to do everything. Not as no. written, but I feel like that's a pretty logical house rule to put in. Yeah. I, I, just... like, like you can, you can say that if this happens, I'll do that. And well, can't I, I just say, I want corner. to go after Ryan, like for, for example, like I, I want to permanently move my initiative uh, eight points lower. No, there's literally no delay in, in five. E. I think it's a very reasonable house rule. And I, meant to, I meant to bring e, it up actually. Five e, there's no delay in it. Um, so are you going to let us house rule that? It makes sense. Oh, I'll let you house rule that. I'm going to say that that works both ends. Yeah. So the monsters and you will be able to move their initiative only oh. lower. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Great. And once you delay, you can't undelay. Right. So Neil would change delay. his initiative to 12 or whatever. Yeah, no, yeah. 11. Go so between me and the. One, 11. One down. Oh, What's your sender? So do these. I can't, I can't change it. Wait. There's one problem though. The um, the bandits are on the same number as Sando. Sando, what's your dexterity modifier? Two. Okay, so Sando goes first. Yeah. So okay. uh, just for reference, Asmund, I am delaying my turn until I, I I'll let you know when I want to hop back into the initiative order. Okay. Are the are the bandits um, already so armed? The, Do they uh, have weapons in hand? Armed. They have weapons in hand. They haven't. So the, basically, they have their short swords, like to their side, drawn, but they, they're not actually up. Like they're not like this. They're kind of like shield in hand that, and weapon ready. Dude, their backs are to you. You could get a killer back attack on them. None, Just go none of them are. No back. one's backs to me. Look, no look at those back. dudes. Literally, look, their backs are everybody. to you. Like literally, everybody is facing Sandor. Right? Yeah, yeah, look like that on the map, dude. Okay. I think we can um, get some back attacks. Look, look at that. Okay. Like, All right, so. I think I had declared that I marked this guy, but I didn't realize the other one was was within five feet of me. Oh shit! So can I have just marked the guy that's adjacent to me? Yeah. Or no did problem. I not realize he was there? No, absolutely no problem. You saw him like he, they, he kind of all easily walked out of their uh, hidden yeah. places. Right. In order so I would have marked the guy closest to me. Um, so we're gonna mark this guy with. Uh, I can't. Is. Yeah. If I'm... I can't remember exactly what happened last time, but he said something that made me so he said something ready to stab. Five, so I'm just going to... He said five gold uh, per person, I think, I, I, I believe. And if you go, if you just give him the money, there's no need. To, yeah. He was very like, courteous. He was like, the captain said, like, there's no need to watch it. Come on, let's all be friends. You pay us to use our road. No, please. not at all. Oh. I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stab because that's what I was planning on doing last session. Do okay, it. I think it, I told him that we weren't going to pay him and that he needed to call off his dogs or I'd kill them. And then two bandits jumped out of the bushes. Yeah, he kind of said, like, that's not uh, the smartest decision to put it like that. Then I'm going to, uh, if I, when I see Ryan do his shit, I'm going to hop in as well. 
Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'll go right after because him. his his uh, the um, archers are gonna go first. So Sando, you're gonna get shot. Okay. Because they we had the actions before where your friend did. So we have two crossbow shots going towards you. Uh, I should have cover from one of them. Maybe both you of them. You do have you do have a half cover from one of them. There's a guy right here. And yeah. yeah, but this guy is like you, you can see there's a small cliff. That doesn't really matter. If you look at that. Like he's elevated. I'm only giving you a bit of cover from this guy because he's not elevated and he has brush in front of him as well as maybe just swag. I'm like I'm engaging in melee with this guy though. Yeah, but how tall is he? Shooting in melee on a bandit as just a normal, uh, normal but I think I should have cover from the bandit regardless of the angle. Hmm. I don't, whatever, if you hmm. not worth I'm gonna give you cover on the other guy. That's whatever. that's what I'm saying here. Okay, that's a natural to a natural six, so they both completely miss. All right, well, I miss, um, but I draw my second blade and crit, and that doubles the mark damage as well, doesn't it? Doubles if only, every dice if only he was bloodied. He, I would also double my Colossus Slayer. Oh, um, buddy, I remember that. Any dice yes. you double, no, no, no modifier. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, plus two. Um, and I was screwing up my damage die last time. What? 16 points of damage. I'd have D6s with my swords. I don't think it actually mattered, but I I, I was, yeah. Anyways. You rolled D8s or something? Yeah, I accidentally okay. rolled a few d8s uh, when yeah, I switched 16. from my bow to my sword. I didn't. Sixteen is going to be definitely enough to uh, put this guy down. All right, so and as a thing, and as a bonus on. action, I will switch my mark to the other guy, turn and point my bloody Wait. blade at him. Actually, I'm just going to strut over to him and whisper okay. in his ear, "You're next." Yeah, with a swift move, you cut this guy's throat and you move to the other one. Uh, Go, Desmond. Okay, your your bonus action was your offhand attack, wasn't it? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. So I don't get to switch my mark. I still whisper that he's next. Okay. He's not marked. Um, I'm going to... Can I slip between Hamari and Purple Boy? Uh, no, because Hamari is currently on the driver's seat. There's a horse there, basically. Okay. Right. There is a horse in front of the carriage. You can just All move right. through ally squares, though. So, I mean, bodyguards... No, it, I'm ally. saying that he can't move through the horse's square, not through the ally square. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to then turn and head towards this guy, which I think I can move that distance. Uh, yeah. Uh, one second, let me see. Oh, yeah. Easy yeah, no, it's the scale. It's the scale. Yeah. So I move up okay. towards him, and I'm going to thrust my long sword into his gut, if possible. D20 Let's see if you can make plus it. four. Come on, 23. 23, almost a crit. If you were half work now, you'd have critted. Come on, do uh, attack. Uh, and a, a simple D8 plus 2 for damage because I have shit for strength. But I skewer him for 10. You skewer for 10. Let's see if it's enough to take this guy down. Uh, and as I run him through, I say, oh, so what are you him. after? You <laughs> skewer him, but he is, uh, he is still very much alive. Desmond's so inexperienced, can't recognize road bandits. Do, do you remember City. our conversation last time? She's got some weird loot on her. I'm highly suspicious. Your money, stupid. And we're going to get it. Uh, and the bandits, let's see. So these two bandits over on here start to pound on you, Desmond. Let's see how that goes. Motherfucker, I've got 19 AC. This is what he's been waiting for. Go ahead, go ahead. Bull fucking shit. The only thing that would actually hit me hits me. Crits me. Floor dice. <laughs> Floor dice don't count. Yeah, floor dice don't Bro, fucking no, count, no, Chucky. That was an eight. That was an eight. The floor dice was an eight. And the 20 was the one on the ground. Because yeah, that's, the attacked. one on the ground is the floor dice, bro. The one on the desk. The one on the ground was eight. Where's my goddamn bear? There's no, there's All right, no there's, your, there's your 20. Roll your damage, whatever. I reduce it by three. Shut up. Uh, oh, wait, well, no. I don't have a reaction, do I? Have I brought enough dice? Not yet. Yes, I have broken that, guys. I was not fighting my second DD6. Okay, so you take six points of damage from that. Minus my three brings it to three points of damage. Three points of damage. Let's see about uh, the other guys. The bandit captain kind of like, breathes his Mastiff 3 to attack. Watch out, guys. He's he a CR2 on. monster. 
<laughs> to Sandor. Um, so we have two attacks on Sandor. The one from the bandit. First. Oh, the guy did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The one from the bandit, and then from the captain. So let's see. Normal attacks. It's at a fourteen. Is a fourteen a hit on you, Sandor? I don't believe so. No, I have AC sixteen. Very good. Let's see about our bandit captain. He is going to attack you with his scimitar about two times and one time with his dagger. What the? F this is just the. Oh, this is the captain. Yeah, this is captain. Uh, wow, four, four, and two. Wow. Okay, he misses with all of his strikes. Amazingly bad. So that's it for the bandits. Let's see what happens with Hamari. All right. So this is a scale, right? This is the, yeah, this is the scale. The cliffs are about five to seven feet up around here. That's the only thing that's not to scale. The bandits are about twelve feet in the uh, in the trees. Okay. Uh, so I will move to here and cast Thorn Whip on the uh, guy in the tree. That's a hit, I assume. Uh, OK, uh, that is a hit, yeah. So what damage? Uh, I don't roll, or don't roll, it's 1d6. OK, yeah, so I roll 1d6. Which one do you attack, the one that Desmond tried to skewer, or the other one? No, the one in the tree. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, no problem. So he takes one damage and is pulled five feet towards me, which pretty much pulls him out of the tree. Very good. Uh, yep. Yeah. You pull him down, he takes uh, some damage from falling down. Okay, the falling damage did a lot more than you could. Yeah. And the guy uh, is currently on the ground. And he's like right next to me. Step on him. Use a bonus action to kick him. And then as a bonus action, I turn into a brown bear and look at him. <laughs> like he, like so he raises he raises up his head to see this brown bear and he like, So in six seconds, you go over, you attack him, he falls out of the tree, and then you like walk over to him and poof, bear. I love 5e. I love, so I love this token for a bear. It's like extremely scary, so I'm going to use this one. That bear has no head. But it, it has the head. Is one second. It has a head. Look at that. Oh, but I'm okay with this token. I'm okay. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have that token because it's so scary. Okay, so um, let's go Hatmari. There we have a token. Feel free to use it. I'm going to put her there. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens when the Mastiffs uh, go on their turn. So the Mastiffs are going to block. Oh, by the way, are you, are you taking care of music? Or do you no, want you? dude, you're the DM. You got to run the music. Oh, there we have five music. You got to run the music and, and the game and all the everything. And that's, yeah, everything. Ah, oh, too much pressure. Dude, if you can't okay. handle the fire, get out of the kitchen. You can do Shut this, up. Chucky. Okay, so the Mastiffs, they jump. And uh, they go off from this. They start jumping at Zar and at Sandor. One second, the Mastiffs should be considerably smaller. Okay, so these guys kind of run and start attacking people around. Um, yep. Zar doesn't get hit. That's his 16. Can... 19 to hit. Is 19 to hit? On who? Are you talking to me oh, or to Zar? Sandor. 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 Uh, 19 is a hit. I'm not talking to myself. It's a, it's okay. I haven't gotten there yet. Okay, I need <laughs> you to give me a strength saving foe. Oh, fucking dogs. Yeah, and you take three points of damage from that. 13 is enough to resist the uh, push of the dog as he jumps and bites at your hand. Let's see what happens uh, when Zara turns comes comes around. So um, many character sheets. Zara goes around with his uh, spear, starting to trying to kill these masters, hitting both times. Skewering the dog, and let's see if that's enough. Skewering the dog. Right. Mastiff um, is dead. 
Can I request a morale check for the donkey to see if it's spooked by the dog into Definitely. fucking and kicking? Are you... Do you actually have a hand on the bridle? No, I've let go of the leash. I've got a sword in each hand. So, okay. but it's got a barking dog right next to it, gnawing at me. Let's see but what happens. Maybe just give it a 50% chance of fleeing versus yes. kicking the dog. Wow, okay, no. So, he actually, in panic, says, so I, ah! I actually, what, what, a, how does a donkey do? What's the sound the donkey makes? Yeah. It's a no, but I can't yeah. make it. There yeah. it is. There it's, it is. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. I probably shouldn't yeah. keep all loudly. And it's it's technically known as braying. And he kicks at the dog. Well, um, he, sh he should give him initiative, I think, and just throw him yeah. into the next round. I'm actually going to throw him in at your initiative. Okay. Just because he is your donkey, I'm going to throw him at your initiative. <laughs> That's Maybe a high initiative donkey. It's a lot easier. That donkey um, has amazing reaction times. Yeah, amazing reaction times. I think, just I think we need to give this donkey the soundboard from like Shrek or something. <laughs> oh, wow, no. No, this donkey, you would want to kill this donkey after a couple of weeks. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens when the archers knock their arrows and shoot. Uh, of course, well, the archer knocks his arrow, shoots at the bear. Uh, 21 to hit. Is that a hit? Again. Against Hamari? Shrek. Bear. There's only one bear between you. Yeah. Hamari? Hamari? That's a hit. I, I can. No one has I 20 AC. It. No. You've okay. got to have magical aid to have more than 20 you AC. Take 10 points of damage from that attack. Or I have no better armor. Have 20 AC. And this guy disengages and starts to run. Yeah, so he may he run. Wait, wait, he attacked me and disengaged? No, 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 no. There's only oh, one the other attack. guy shot me. The other guy over there, yeah. Okay. This guy disengages and starts running. He scrambles up this this place over on here and starts moving as far as he can. Okay. For the record, what bears have a climb speed of 30. Yeah. Which is terrifying. Yep. Yes, bears climb fast. Very fast. That's why usually if you're attacked by a bear, you don't run. You don't have a chance to run for a bay. Okay, Sandor, what's up? Uh, you, you mean you mean donkey? Uh, sorry, donkey. What is up? So the donkey's spooked. He's kicking and flailing wildly. Does a 14 versus AC hit that dog? Uh, let's see if a 14 versus AC hits that dog. Uh, yes, it does actually. Nice. Go donkey. Uh, let's see, donkey. Can you do enough damage? Before plus two. Four points of damage to the dog. No, don the dog is still alive. So the donkey's like turned around and has kicked the dog with his hind legs. Okay. Right. Um, so I will up. use a bonus action to change my mark to the bandit leader. Okay, so this is the bandit leader. Ah. You just make him a bit. You want to get your own hands dirty. Happy to oblige. Critical miss. <laughs> Happy to oblige. <laughs> At least Donkey's pulling his weight, and that is my yeah. turn. Yep. So Desmond, all right, great adventurer. Uh, Desmond shouts over his shoulder, "You guys, aren't you gonna help me?" Oh fucking Desmond! <laughs> As you look over your shoulder, you see a bear. Okay. <laughs> oh, bear! Get out of my way! He says as he rolls a twenty-three to hit. He 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 got flails around and, and attacks the guy in front of him, slicing, bar Ex barely nicking Ex him for three points. No, not barely because you attacked him for for ten if you remember. Barely nicking his jugular as he takes barely, three yes. points. Barely nicking his jugular as the guy goes like, <laughs> and he like goes on the round dead. Yeah, he's taking Twain dead way too seriously. All right. Uh, and what do you do then the I will. I mean, I'm gonna fucking play my character. So Desmond runs. Okay. I'm pretty sure this guy's uh, gonna get an attack of opportunity on me, but I run my full yes, 30 feet. Yes. Uh, okay, so that's a 16 to hit. I don't think fuck that's no, the 16 doesn't hit me. Nope. Okay, so I guess I move a little bit past this point. Um, yeah, yeah, you just go a bit past that point. You can like have it on your notes that you're five feet past the limit. <laughs> I like from my perspective that he's not even on the map anymore. Yep. Uh, whoa, this guy. 
Let's see about our bandits. Again, free attacks coming on Sandor. We have a dagger and... There it is. A dagger and two scimitar attacks. Finally, 19, 16, 18. That's the dice I want to see. Say that again? Uh, what? So, no, those are the natural dice. Uh, you have a 21 on the first scimitar. Those are all going to hit. Four on the second scimitar and a 23 on the dagger. That's three hits. 16 uh, okay. AC. So, scimitar does the two scimitar attacks. The nine, six, 15 damage. And the one dagger attack does. Five points of damage. Where's my, where's Wingy Good on lord. Uh, so I just get... I mean, I'm, I'm still up, but I probably drop to a knee. As God, that guy's quick. Yep, that's it. Like, he basically like, swats at you and it stabs at you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what happens when we go on and see what the other bandits will do. So this bandit over on here is going to actually be very uncertain of what will happen if he starts to... Bear! There's a bear here! Sorceress! And he starts running away as well in this way. Moving a lot more further because doesn't, he has uh, his standard action. How does he climb up that hill so fast? No it's, a, it's, no, it's not. A, it's like a five feet thing. It's difficult to rain for five feet. Okay. That's why I get or he can just jump it. Yeah. Five feet. You need to have plus two strength to jump it. But yeah. This guy over on here looks unsure, uh, looking at a captain. Captain looks down at him with a stern face. I look and... back at him with a sterner face. <laughs> the chest to see cough a little bit of blood at him. <laughs> give, me, give me an intimidation. Oh, Actually, I'm, not, I'm not very intimidating. Don't say that, Ryan. I believe in you. You know, you know, situations and situations. Yeah, he... You barely, like, you make him sh shake, but the captain makes him tremble, so he continues on attacking you. Uh, rolling a six to hit. It's a huge fail, yes. and let's see Hamari. Hamari the bear. Uh, so these guys, are these, like, to scale in their distance? Yeah, no, kind of, kind of. No, this guy is like way further. I don't have enough space to put him. This guy like moved. He's like 50 feet away uh, okay. because he had a standard action as well. This guy is only about 25 feet from him, actually. Okay, he wouldn't actually be that far away. But yeah. It's fine. Because he is, yeah, you can get there easily. So I, I, uh, I get to multi-attack. This is one d20 plus five to hit. Okay, advantage because of back attack. No. I guess I'll roll two more d20s, but there's no crits. Okay, and so the hit. 18 and the 24 hit. Yeah. So I get to do one attack with claws and one with bite. So it's 1d8 plus 1d6 plus 8 for 16 damage. Okay, so 16 points of damage is going to take this guy down. I'll use any remaining movement I have to get closer to the other guy. I have four, a full 40 feet of movement, so I guess I get 10 away from him if he's 50 away from me right now. Sorry, I, I, just, called out. I just got caught off for a second. Can you repeat that? The other guy. If he's 50 feet away from me, I can get within 10 of him. Yeah, yeah, I can get within 10 of him. Because my speed's 40, yeah. I'm done. I have no bonus actions as a bear. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens when the Mastiff goes again. He's going to try and bite at the donkey. Logical. Donkey just kicked him in the face. Yep, donkey gets hit in the face. Donkey hit, yep, AC 10. Uh, donkey will give me a... Uh... Should I roll for hit points, yeah, yeah. or should I just use the base? No, 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 roll for hit points if you want to. All right, donkey. Early donkey. Early donkey, wow. yeah. That's yeah, a that's pretty good. Ass donkey. Good Give donkey. me a strength saving throw, and he takes good ass right seven there. points of damage from that hit. Say that again. How much damage? Uh, seven points of damage, and give me a. Uh, I don't think donkeys have any proficiencies. So strength saving oh, throw, pass. but I will give him an advantage in that because uh, he's actually. On hold on a sec. 
Sure foot. Uh, it doesn't matter. He passes, but he does have. Whenever the mule would be knocked prone, it stays on its feet if it succeeds a DC 10 dexterity save. So I think even if he failed, oh, oh. he would get a second save. Yeah, he would get a second save. Jeez. Okay. Well, right. How much damage? It, it makes sense. It's a four legs. No, uh, I, seven... I I agree with the premise. I just donkeys are OP. Yeah, seven points of damage. Ouch. Yep. Well, it, there was a big chance that if he fucked up, the donkey would actually kick Sando in the face or just run away with his root and gear. So, it was and just mine. lucky. And yours. Where's so what donkey? Happened? It's in the PHP, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's under mule. The uh. czar moves in like near to this guy and starts poking at him with a spear. Well, uh, skewing him with a hit. Or uh, he is almost dead. This guy has like a very big cut on his on the side of his face. He's bleeding badly, but he is still alive and standing up and fighting. Uh, the archer that is still above there is kind of unsure of what what to do. Uh, he'll draw his crossbow and shoot at Sandor. Probably. Maybe some cover. My legs are probably concealed uh, yeah. by donkeys no, and dogs. You, I'm giving you half cover on that. Okay, he owes a 17 to hit. A half cover gives Ooh. you two AC. Ooh, that'll do it. 18 AC with the uh, with cover. Okay, so you... thank you, dog. Does that mean he hits he the dog? Very, very does it hit you? Uh, no, no. Okay. There's no. There's not really kind of friendly, friendly fire, and I don't want to thread the grounds of how suing friendly fire right now. Okay. Um. All right, my turn. Sando, yep. Your turn. All right, let's deal with the donkey first. I think the donkey's getting the fuck out of here, but kicking with its back legs as it goes. 19. Do it, donkey. Hit, go damage. Do work. Uh, three points. <laughs> uh, he, the, the dog is literally like thrown five feet off this. Like, the dog dies? Push. The dog dies, yeah, from that. Donkey doesn't even think twice, doesn't look back, and probably runs off 40 feet in that direction. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, does, does the bandit leader take an attack of opportunity against my donkey? No, he doesn't really care much about the donkey. All right. Uh, and then I will make some attacks against the leader. Okay, go. A nine. Nope. It's a complete miss. 16. It's a miss. God. Oh, no. It's not a miss. It doesn't have a shield equipped. Oh, yeah. That's he's it. got two weapons. Yeah, he has two weapons in hands. No shield weapons. Um... Do you, he is un, unscathed? Is it full HP? He has full HP. That is not going to hit. Nine points of damage. Let me roll his HP roll first. Because what responsible DM rolls the creature's HP beforehand? I do for everything. You roll beforehand? Only for this last week. <laughs> 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 He says after what, 15 years of D&D? Yeah, fuck that shit. Roll it on the fly. Make up the entire storyline on the fly, actually. Done. 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 Okay, Sandor, <laughs> that's your turn. Desmond. Yep. That's it. Alright, Desmond, you know, glancing over his shoulder, seeing the bear like run up a hill over there, is like, oh fuck. And decides to head this way. You notice actually. that Hamari is nowhere. Yeah, she probably got eaten by the bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go climb this hill. Um, how high is it? I forgot. Uh, the hill over on there is about seven seven feet high. So it takes 14 points of movements high. to climb the hill? Yeah, 14 movements. Okay. Let's just make that a 15. Okay. Make it the nasty So move. then I'm going to go to here, which is plus 15. That puts it at 40. And then 40 to the edge of this tree. So I'm going to climb to the edge of this tree. Um, and then hide over here and pounce <laughs> on this guy the next round. But I'm not going to break cover this round. Roll your stealth check, yeah. Desmond. I don't get a stealth check because I use my action to move. I don't get oh. a stealth check as a bonus action. And I'm yeah, not so a big fat liar who's going to take an advantage that other people wouldn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why is this? Because I'm an honest references? person. Are you are you dishonest? Would you take an advantage you shouldn't get? <laughs> uh, okay, 
I was paying half attention there because I was trying to find like the second battle music from to play for you guys. But I Ooh, is there another it. set of battle music? Yeah, it's Crash of Kings and Superhero. Ooh. That are battle music. They're pretty cool. I actually like Superhero more. I don't think I've ever used Superhero before. It's not sci-fi at all, and that's why I like it. It's more of a Floyd music. I don't have to make okay. any check to climb up the hill. Uh, no, no, it's difficult to rain, that's it. Okay. If, if there was a more of a sheer phase, then we would have gone into acrobatics or athletics for a crime check. Let's see about our okay. bandits. Once you make the sale, stop selling. Let's see about Sandor getting attacked three times again. No, no morale checks. For what? Their numbers have dropped in half. Uh, for maybe for the other bandit, but the captain is still standing still. Sure. All right. Good. Goodbye, okay. guys. I'm going down. 17 and 19 natural. That's two hits. On you, we have scimitar. Two scimitar attacks. So he just, like, unloads on me even as my body falls? Yes, he unloads on you as your body falls. He's pretty pissed off at you, like, seeing his mastiff's dead. He is really pissed off. He should have taken the attack for opportunity against the donkey. <laughs> he is more pissed off at you. It's like pissed off at the owner more than the donkey. He kind of acts anymore, it seems. Okay, so you take nine points of damage from that. Uh, can you break that down? Because that's enough to kill me. That is... Four and five. So, damn it. Four just reduces me to zero, and then I fail a death save, I guess. Okay, so you have an automatic fail. Don't roll a one. Let's see next in line the other guy. Oh, this guy is standing his ground. He sees this guy who seems to be the leader, Sandor, kind of going down, so he turns around and starts fighting. Okay, he actually hits R. Damages R for something. Okay, and next in line after that, this guy just runs as much as he can. So he moves about uh, 60 feet away, running as fast as he can. God damn it. Uh, yeah, he's using both of his actions. Hamagi? Alright, I guess I turn around and rush the leader as my bare self. I can actually still make that. I can make it all the way to him. And you stand on my corpse. Great. <laughs> I'm a large creature, so I don't actually have to stand on your corpse. 17 and 22. How many feet away were you? 40. There's, there's OP. I'm there assuming both of those hit. Oh yeah, they both hit, because the 16 hit before. Yep. So I do 19 points of damage to the... Uh... Actually, that's yep. wrong. So, so you just you just maul the face of this guy who was already just at 2 HP. And you just, like, you literally just... Oh, well, if he, if he I course. assumed he had more HP. If he died on the first attack, I would have made the second attack against something else. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can make your second attack against something else. Okay, so against, I make it against the other guy, and the other guy takes 12 points of uh, okay, damage from claws. Or slashing damage, yeah. Okay, so... Um, it's actually 14. Let's... I can't do math today, apparently. 4 plus 6 plus 4 is 14, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, 14. it is. No okay. The Mastiffs are done and dead from the initi initiative. Zar is going to... Zar looks a bit confused at this and just backs away slightly, going at a carriage, opening the door, talking to some of these... His reaction to a bear joining in the fight is he goes back and talks. He's like, is this you? <laughs> Did you do this? Yeah, that is not how I'd react to a bear at all. <laughs> this, this guy, this guy is literally just a steel. Forty, just no emotion at all as he moves away, but he keeps a wary eye on bear. That's fine. He can keep a wary eye on me. It seems reasonable. So um, yeah, seemingly he's trying to make sure that we just up is safe. So there's um, only there's only two things alive, right? The the, the archer and, and the, the guy archer. who's running away. And the archer. Yeah, and the archer is trying to shoot at you. 
Whatever. That is a 17 to hit. Yeah, I have 11 AC. This Almost anything's going to hit me. Ah, okay. Okay, it takes six points of damage from that. Okay. And that brings, it's not real damage, right? That brings me down to 24 bear HP. And then you get to zero and you go back to full human HP, right? Correct. Are you, this, that's fucking broken. Druids are, sure are not balanced that, at right? all. <laughs> so HP-wise, druids are not balanced at all. In no, <laughs> there is no way that druids are balanced. Are we they sure he's some of the best spells right? in the game. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I've no, I don't know. Whatever. Is that the end of the archer's turn? Yeah, that's the end of the archer's turn. I, right. I do mean to get a look at the druids. I feel like I'm gonna house with the thing that if you die, and I'm I'm done. guessing they're they've got a nerf. I mean, like, D and D is tough I, to nerf, but there's got to be a way that they can do so it. So I'm, I'm either gonna like. I'm gonna look at it more. I'm either gonna nerf it, like if you die in bear form, you're gonna die normally, or the percentage of health you take as a bear is the percentage of health you lose in normal form when you return back. But it form. says you can revert to your normal form earlier by using a bonus action on your turn. You also automatically revert if you fall unconscious, drop to zero hit points, or die. But so I, I think, think I think it says somewhere that if you are reduced to zero in your trend, in your bear form, you go back to full you go back to your full HP. No, I, 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 I'm not, Maybe not though. very much okay. Let's, However, if, if you revert as about. a result of dropping to zero hit points, any excess damage you carries over to your normal form. It, carry, it carries yeah. over. So, so if, if I was like at one HP and I took twenty damage, I would take nineteen carry. damage from yeah. your full regular Motherfucker. HP. Motherfucker. So yeah, still not necessarily very okay, but we'll see about it when yeah. we get. Maybe the, the beast form has to regain HP like we do. Sandor, DST. Uh, donkey first. Donkey choose grass. Oh. Yes. Donkey I pass my DST. You pass your DST. Desmond, Desmond, the mighty adventurer. I think the donkey re or the the beast form regains HP at the same rate that we get regain HP. It doesn't like automatically go max HP. What do you mean? Like I think you... if you revert to beast form, it gets knocked to zero, and then you try and revert back, you'll revert back to an unconscious bear. You gotta remember that druids don't get class features outside of being able to change into a bear, so like being able to change into animals is their whole class feature. Hmm. Anyway, I'm yeah, gonna so move up underneath like this motherfucker like and stab well, him from uh, the feet. You're about, you remember that you're 12 feet below. He is up 12 feet in the air, or in the tree. I've told you that before. Climbing is a half speed. I didn't realize. I thought this guy was not in the tree. I thought this both guy was just on them, the hill. Both of them are in the trees. Fuck, I misheard that. Um, I'm going to hurl my sword at his feet then. Okay, no problem. So I'm going to give you an advantage to that because he was he is surprised. And back attack. It doesn't matter. It's just one advantage. Wait, yeah, I'm, how I'm did you turn saying... into a bear, Justin? I thought you could only... My class feature uh, allows me to do CR1 creatures instead of CR1. Core. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is like the circle. Yep. 19. Okay. Is enough to hit. A lower damage. Flat D8. One point of damage. But does he have to make a dex check so he doesn't fall? Uh, no. No, he doesn't. Not too much. I mean, he's, he's there. Pretty he's standing dirty. in a tree using a bow, so that means he has to be balancing yeah, himself on his feet. He's standing in a tree. He is, he is kind of like walked. He's standing in the tree, but he's using crossbow. So he's still Bigger. using both of his hands on a weapon, so he has to be like, you know, he doesn't have, he can't grip something. He's, He's got to balance on his feet and against no, I, his I back. Understand, I understand, I understand your point. And I, I hit him hard enough to do a damage, so it's not just like I hit him with a rock. It like you cut that, into him. You know what? You know, and he's, he's surprised. The... Yeah, no, he he still manages to keep on the tree. He still manages to keep on the tree. You're the one damage. If you're much more made, the DC would have been high, but the DC was pretty small. Whatever. If I threw a knife at you while you were standing in a tree and it stabbed you in the leg, you would fall. That's all I'm saying. I would fall. Any of one of us would fall. You'd be fucking surprised if a knife all of a sudden hits you in the back of the leg, even if it doesn't cut you that deeply. But it's your call, DM. It's your call. He gave the guy a save. Yeah, I, mean, that, I know, that, that, I know. That... I'm just salty because I did one damage and I didn't knock him out of the tree. And I don't <laughs> it's, not, it's not completely equivalent, but that actually happened to me once when I was riding a bike and I did not fall over. You got hit by a knife? Yeah. What the fuck? How, at what speed <laughs> and in what way? Hold on. Someone threw a knife at me. And it landed like point first into your skin? Yeah, haven't you guys seen the scar on my leg? The giant left scar on my left leg? I, no. I've never heard the story. Wow. 
don't understand. <laughs> it's like an assassin or just a friend who didn't realize <laughs> that it wasn't funny to throw a knife at you. Uh, it's a friend. I don't know if sizzles out here. It, it was actually, it wasn't a friend of mine, it was a friend of my brother's, but he had a, uh, a congenital disease that was going to kill him by the time he was like 17 or 18, so he pretty much got away with anything he wanted. So he, his standards of appropriate behavior were uh, somewhat undefined in his mind. Wow. So That's very a, inappropriate he, behavior. He, he, he bought a knife at a flea market that day, and he wanted to see how it worked, so he threw it at me while I was riding my bike. I was like nine. Did he act... Did, did but, anybody... Like, I hope he got in trouble for that. that. No, yeah, of course he didn't. He didn't get in trouble, but it caught up with him several years later when he died. Yeah. <laughs> this got dark real fast. <laughs> Fuck you, save us. <laughs> Whichever way we go here, it's dark territory. So just, let's go just, back. Yes. <laughs> let's go back to bears and mowing people's faces off. It's better. Okay, so that's when you just threw your sword away. <laughs> I think Desmond's okay. turn is done. Oh, Desmond's yeah, I mean, turn is done. if he didn't fall. No. Hold he on. Uh, I, hold on. Hold, I still have. Huh? How much still do movement? Still have movement, maybe. Not, yeah, not much, have, though. I was. I think I would use twenty. Yeah, you don't have any. I use you probably couldn't. You're movement. encumbered, mostly, aren't you? Enc I'm encumbered. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm 20. fucking encumbered. I don't think I don't think I can get there. Whatever. I'll have you to be behind. You threw it. You threw your sword. Desmond yeah. the disarmed. See, sounds good. There we go. Oh, don't let that be his name. He's dashing, not disarmed. <laughs> All right, go, go. All of the alliterations. <laughs> Always yeah. avoid alliteration. Okay. So let's see what happens when three attacks are uh, from a bandit captain are directed to a uh, AC-11 bear. Who yeah. is this guy and why is he throwing his life away? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's actually surprisingly only two hits. One barely hitting. <laughs> and a critical. A critical. Yeah, okay, barely. that's fine. That's a grisly so, outcome. Yeah, where's the outcome? Let's see about the 16 points of damage the bear takes. Okay. It's a black mark on his record. So the bear is down to eight. You gotta decide, Neil. Is it a grizzly or is it a is it a black bear? I don't know what happened. You, you can't make both puns. I can make every pun regarding to bears as possible. I'm just running out of them. I'm already very dope. quickly. All right. Well, I'm gonna hit the bandit captain again because he's being a dick. I'm guessing that misses. That misses. That and misses. That misses too. He actually is a grizzly bear. The brown bear has worse stats. The black bear has worse stats. Right. What? Seriously? Uh, well, if they, yeah, if, that makes sense. If, if they miss, they miss. So I guess I'm done. Yeah. Use your bear paws to bind my wounds. <laughs> I remember. I remember. So I was planning on healing you after the captain goes down, but it didn't work out. So. A, a black bear. Do you cast spells in bear, bear form? I cannot. Do you ever get that ability? Yeah, like level twenty. Oh. <laughs> I think it's I think it's actually level eighteen, but it's like really really far off. Okay. So Zar looks kind of back at the bear, the captain, and shouts, "Free bandit! There's nobody alive in your ranks." Seem like very polarized characters. Okay, polarized. That took me a long time to come up with another bear pun. How is polar? Oh, polar, polar bears. Bear. Yeah, ah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It, okay. Just, just so stop. He tries. He tries to intimidate the bandit puns. captain. The bandit captain seems to be in a fit of rage, so he does not respond to this whatsoever. So Zar moves in front uh, with his spear and prepares to attack. How um, is the? How is no one freaking out? Uh, thank you, Neil, for role playing this properly. Everyone else. Wait, the fucking bear shows monsters. up, and what? I run, and the bear is mauling some other people, so I climb a cliff how, away how from it he, and like hurl my sword at someone. Is, how is the other band is not running away? Not appropriate. This this is how the role play. The bandit captain has a personality. It's not just generic bandit captain. It's bear magical bear fighting bandit captain. I've waited my whole no, life for a magical bear. bear. Who actually Come has here. a decent amount of HP and has fought bears before. And the okay. bodyguard's just hard bitten and used to shit like this because of his employer. 
It I makes guess. complete sense in the mind of somebody who knows all the information. But, but you've got to make the universe believable for everyone else, yeah, too. Yeah, but sometimes even in real life, stuff doesn't make sense to you that actually does make sense normally. Yeah, like that, whole situation. That, that gnarly guy that like slew a bear with a little pocket knife to save oh, his family. Oh, yeah, in, in the East story. Coast in New England. Yeah. Bear showed up at his kid's uh, birthday party, like his, you know, nine-year-old kid's birthday party, so he whips out a pocket knife and fights a bear with it. Well done. There's lots of stories like that. There's that woman who drove a bear away from her husband with a pair of binoculars. <laughs> well, that makes more sense, because, you know, you're just, like, swinging yeah. binoculars at a bear. But to actually, like, you know, the bear is, like, batting at you with his claws and going, Rawr! and you stand there the with a fucking pocket thing knife. Ever was when there was a... There's a nanny cam like on the on the backyard of a family and there's a cat and a little girl playing and a crocodile got in and the and the cat just swatted at the crocodile. Oh yeah. And I've the seen crocodile that. Just away. Yeah. That was the fucking cat that was croc wow. cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what happens uh when we have another bow shot attack. Uh this time from this guy onto Desmond. Does the Desmond bow shot gets... break the sound barrier? <laughs> no. No, bad, Neil, bad. Stop. <laughs> Give it the rest. It'd make more sense if you were actually shooting at the bear, but you know. Yeah. Well, you get shot for five against AC, so hit this guy fails yeah, horribly. No. Seeing that you're unarmed, uh, he uses the rest of his, his movement to climb down and move out a bit, kind of pointing his uh, crossbow at you, threateningly. Sandor, go. DST. Donkey, choose grass. If you all, okay, Sandor you fails. Have, you have two fails and one make. One will fail and you're dead. Desmond, go. All right. Can I see the bear from where I'm standing? Because it looks like there's a cliff and a tree and some other shit. Definitely can't see it through the see it through the tree unless and this, you're looking. This panda is no longer here, right? No, no, no. That guy's like 80 feet away. So okay. Yeah, he so Desmond thing. thinks the bear has ran off on this cliff this way, chasing people, and so I'm gonna do a full fledged tackle into this guy and tackle him off the cliff. Okay, so you're below. gonna push him. Yeah, so you run and push him. I'm talking like uh, football tackle, like grab him around the waist and just bear down on him. Cool, cool. That is an actual shot. So I'll give you an advantage just because you have like a lot of movement to make. I'm this. encumbered. So give I have a lot. I don't of see why. Why would he get advantage? I think anytime you make a charge attack, you have movement. Yeah, but this is not within the rules. You, you, the idea is that like Five E just says he moves in front of him, does this, and that's normal shove. I feel like I mean, when you take the... in the rules. Whatever, Ryan, don't knock it. He's giving me a free no. shit. Don't you take advantage right. of like the little things that people forget? Okay. I don't no, know. No, I'm trying to make our universe consistent. I, if I, I if I were DMing and he volunteered to go off the cliff with the archer and possibly take damage, I would give him advantage. Yeah, sure. I'm I mean like, that's what that's what I'm doing here. Yeah. I mean this is kind of a barrel run, you know. Um, D20 plus Ooh, four barrel. to run into him. Natural twenty. Nice. Ooh, yep, you both you you guys even, fuck and tumble. He gave you advantage after all this discussion and you didn't even take it. Yep. Roll again yeah. to see if you get two twenties. No. You rough and tumble down the hill. Uh, I just have my, my heavy chain mail and my shield. So I guess it's more of like a shield bash into him and I land shield first onto his belly. So I hope that he uh, takes yeah. his damage and then I take my damage and he takes my damages too. That's what I'm hoping for. But it's Ooh, your rule. I like that. Okay. Well, yeah, that makes good. That makes complete sense. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you that. I, I like how you thought that off. Yeah. See, you guys. And that's what you, you you pose the idea as a suggestion, but you don't force the issue. And then the DM. <laughs> like, literally, <laughs> an example the... I used from from that. Yeah, I know. I know. I've watched it. Oh, name. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you take three points of damage. Uh, uh well. I reduced that shit by three. No. You take absolutely no damage. Your heavy armor just negates it. And this guy's breath is taken out of him. And he he dies. You hear his ribcage basically break beneath your shield. And this is one of the most horrible sounds you've ever heard before. As you see, like, the bones which we protruding out of his skin. Nice. There's help. How... Is, fall is falling damage bludgeoning damage? Uh, what other heavy damage could it be? What else would it be? All right, all right. What, piercing damage? 
Crush. I was thinking crushing, but that's I guess that's not a category. No, no, I guess crushing is kind of like all directions yeah, at there, once. There is no crushing damage. Yeah, there's no yeah. crushing damage in fighting. It still would still be bludgeoning. Yeah, you could okay. say force damage maybe, but force doesn't. But that's really like, force that's is ma magical. That's magical. Yeah. yeah, still doesn't work. Okay, so you kill this guy. Pretty cool. And I'm going nice. to give you an inspiration point for your actions this combat because I love I loved how you did this gun. Fuck yeah! Okay. I already have inspiration.
Well, Desmond, pull yourself go. together. We'll do it you now. See, like, so, Desmond, you see the bear being attacked. You think the bear is going to die. The bear turns into Hamari. Hamari turns back into the bear and starts attacking the captain. So this is pretty confusing for you. So it's the bear, the the guard, and the bandit captain. Uh, there is literally one enemy. Right, bear. right. But the guard is also next to the bear fighting with the bear. Yeah, it seems like he saw the same thing as okay. he did. Uh, I, I want to take a look around for where my sword is, assuming it fell off the cliff. Yeah, give me, give me a perception check. Oh god, d20 minus 3? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> 4. Um, uh, I grab whatever okay. weapon yeah. this guy had in... I, I take it he had a backup weapon, the guy he underneath had, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, a, he had a short sword at his side that you can take up. I pull up the short sword, and I want to take a defensive stance with a reaction to attack anything that comes and within range, and I'll decide my action next round. But Desmond is freaked out by this bear. Okay, okay. I'm done. So, um, yeah, the bandit captain uh, looks around, disengages, and starts running away. Okay, so we've confirmed the bodyguard does not have Sentinel. Or maybe he hasn't used it. The bodyguard seems very dis concerned at this like he just puts his weapon down and goes back at the uh goes back at the carriage <laughs> all right okay so battle music done what's up i would chase that bandit captain down oh feel free if you want to how are you next to line so go okay <laughs> i really don't does he turn around uh, yeah, he does turn to face you. Okay. He's not as stupid as the other ones. Those are still both hits. Okay, now that he knows, he sees that you're a sorcerer. 23 uh, damage. 23 points of damage. Guy's still up. Jesus! Okay. Uh, oh. Zar goes back, yeah. And Desmond, your turn. I run over to, to Sandor. You know, I you know, skirt over to him, short, sword and short shield and sword sword up facing the bear and like crab walk my way over to him um, and then like so glance like, down yeah, and the, feel the bear, for like, a Desmond The pulse. bear moves off his body and starts running for the guard captain the bear that you know now is Samari looking at Sandro's face you see like a wild gash at his side his neck was cut clean this way and he bled out it's like clear that he's dead it's it's like there's almost no blood left. Or death saving throws. You can't get any more dead than that. <laughs> yeah. You can actually. You can have five. Uh, I take a look kill. at the guard. How can you get five death saves? Because four. you make it two times and you four fail failed, three times. Though. No, four failed death saving throws is most important. Yeah, because he you failed get. two and then he rolled yeah. one. So that was four fails. Yeah. 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 Uh, I take it the, the bodyguard's back is to me because he's walking back to the carriage. Yeah. Um, I'm going to fucking run him through. The bodyguard? Oh, hell what? yeah. Because in my Why? mind, the whole reason Sandor is dead is because these guys have some shit. Remember, I was like, what do you have that's oh, yeah. hiding? We're going to get attacked. We're going to get attacked. And then we get ambushed and Sandor dies. I think this guy's been lying to me the entire time. Just got my only friend in the world killed. So I run him through in the back. Okay. You roll your attack. I'm going to try and deconstruct Desmond's logic. He only has like five yeah. int, doesn't he? Or five yeah, willpower or five, five wisdom. Will, five wisdom, <laughs> seven intelligence. <laughs> Advantage. Twenty-two. Uh, oh, so yeah, I guess that's only a 20. twenty. Yeah. Only a twenty. Uh, I take it that's a hit, Chucky. Uh, that's a hit. Yeah, as I said, go on. I think Desmond's gonna die. I uh, seven. You do seven points of damage to him, and he. I'm not done with my turn. You, yeah, go on. I'm gonna shield punch him as a bonus action. How do you do that? You I mean, I'm making, an unarmed, I'm making an unarmed attack with oh. my shield. Yeah. Okay. I think you actually need a feat to do that. No, you can always make two attacks. One of them just has to. Yeah, I mean, you can make oh. like a weird. No, no. you can't. You oh. can't do it unless you have a finesse weapons in both hands. Yeah. Uh, or well, there's a, a there's a, a finesse weapon. 
Or yeah. Is your shield a finesse weapon? No, it's not. There is a feat. There is a shield master feat that, expo- that but I explicitly think, I think allows think you to do this. Go into this. I think we should take a small break here. Well, what if I use my inspiration? Can I do it then? Yes, you could. No, inspiration. I'm like, I know, but Neil, I'm thinking we house rule seems... that shit. Neil. Yeah. Let's take a small break. We can figure out in the break, and it's good because I think we're one hour half in. Okay. So it says to, to push a creature. I'm trying to attack him, not push him. It's very different. But I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye.